Hello and welcome. This is Thelma with SewItYourself.com. Thanks for signing up for the monthly newsletter where you will receive sewing tips and other special offers. I'm really excited to share some training with you, some sewing secrets, and much, much more. So please let us know if you have any questions or comments about your emails or your experience with SewItYourself.com. The purpose of this quick video is to show you that you can set up or organize a place to sew in whatever space you have. Many people tell me that they want to learn how to sew, but their problem is that they don't have enough space or a place to roll out their fabric and cut out their pattern pieces, not to mention a place to put their sewing machine. And that's what's keeping them from getting started on their first sewing project and even getting engaged in the process. So the same could be the case for you. But if you're willing to get started, the place you start is really up to you. When I first got started, I placed a cutting board on the floor or on the top of the bed to lay out my pattern, my fabric, and to cut out those pattern pieces. In other words, like you, I had to use what I had at the time. Then, of course, later I expanded. So setting up, up a sewing room can be a work in progress, as you will see in my case. At one point, I used a table in our breakfast area. Then one of my sons moved on, moved out, and I had an entire sewing room upstairs. Later, the family dynamics changed and I shared my sewing room in my home office. It continues to evolve as our household needs have changed. The point is not to allow yourself to think that you need more space than what you currently have in order to get started. Just use what you have, dress it up if you have to or if you must, but press forward to reaching your goal. Sewing rooms, as you see, can come in all shapes and sizes. The trick is to use the space that you have at the time. So listen, when we first moved into our current home, I worked full time for Corporate America from my home office. I went into the, into the office two or three times a week, but the majority of the time I worked in my home office. So my time was limited and so was my sewing space. So when I did so, I turned our breakfast area into a mini sewing room for the weekends. All I really needed was a table, some light, a little space, and this is what I used. I actually took a cutting board. When it, this cutting board that's laying on this table is actually maybe what, about $10, $15, but it saves the tabletop from scratches or when I'm pinning the fabric or pinning the pieces, pattern pieces to the fabric. So I used a cutting board. This is the same cutting board that I would use if I had to put it on the floor or if I use it on the top of the bed to cut out. Sometimes it may not be that you know, even or hard if I use it on the, the top of the bed, but it worked for what I needed. All right, so I actually <clears throat> used the, oh, excuse me. I actually was able to place my sewing machine on the corner of the table and then my serger and then as you see, I had a spot for my ironing board, my pressing equipment uh, in the corner. And then this is the space I used. I had plenty of light as you open up the curtains, open up the blinds and a light overhead. And I used this space to sew on the weekends. And then of course, for breakfast, the family just ate in the dining room. Not a welcome change, right? Later on, as I said earlier, I ended up utilizing or sharing my home office with the sewing room. So I just pushed everything back a little and had a corner, a little L-shaped space for my sewing, sewing space. I was able to put up the ironing board for pressing equipment and tried to dress it up a little bit with a little skirt around the table. From there, same home office, changed it around a little bit, changed the lighting, uh, still a work in progress. You know, it's just something that continues to evolve. So I was actually, I, I used the same table, put my sewing machine and my serger on the same table and had another corner for layout. I just ended up moving those items off the table when I needed to cut out. Again, same office, sharing it with my with my home office, 
and just try to clean it up a bit so it wouldn't be so messy. And I change the lighting again. It just evolves. Now here's a picture of the entire sewing room slash home office. As you can see, my desk is on one side, my sewing tables are on the other side. I just changed it around a bit, lifted it up, you know, gave me more uh, space to cut out and had a small area there for my sewing machine. Again, same space, it's a little messier, but it works. So you won't want to consider the same thing. Just showing you different angles that is, I'm actually sharing it with my home office. And then here is something a little bit cleaner, a little bit more, a little quieter, where one of my friends at slash students actually set up her area for a sewing room. She had some space. She went to Ikea. She bought these tables, set those up, table back to back, sewing machine on one table, serger on the other. And then as you'll see a little bit further over, she actually plugged in her pressing equipment, her ironing board, iron, and of course some additional uh, space for storage. So as you can see, you too can do the same thing. You can utilize whatever space you have for your sewing machine. You know that once you get started, you're going to feel really good about what you're doing. Why? Because what you're doing is something that you want to do. So again, you want to use the floor, if you have to, the top of the bed, tabletop, or whatever you have to get started. So listen, I hope you've enjoyed this little quick video. Continue to go to my website, sewityourself.com, for free updates that can help you improve your sewing skills. Feel free to leave comments on what problems you're having on your projects, and I can get back with you. Thanks so much again for watching this. I really enjoyed making it for you. I hope you found it valuable, and it's helped you to get started on your goal of learning how to sew. Feel free to tell your friends about this and go to sewityourself.com. Feel free to purchase my book, Sew It Like a Pro. Get some great tips there. And remember to look for my emails. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.